This is a Gantt chart on Google Sheets I made for project management type um, projects. So um, each row is something that you want done at a certain time, before and after, start and end date. Um, when you change these uh, statuses, it will change the color so you can see where you are if you're behind. There will always be a um, white line wherever today is. So for example, if I put this back in time, you'll see that's today. Um, so in this example, we're designing an app, a smartphone app uh, to reduce obesity. Um, and so there's a short abbreviation here, and then you can put in more details here if you want. The persons that are available here are in the variable tab. So if you go here, you can edit these. You can also edit the statuses. There are kind of hard-coded um, conditional formatting that I've set up for these statuses, so you can edit any of that. So if you want this, you could go copy it to your own Google Sheet and edit however you want. Um, I will now go through some more detail that you don't really need, but there's extra stuff hidden. If you, oh, and um, there's a README, and if you want this, you can go to this shortened abbreviation um, bit.ly slash sagegant-v1p0. So then to share some hidden things, there is a initial end date here. Often the dates change. So you can see at first this was set to February 24th. If we change that date, it will change here, but not here because it's already been set. Also, um, there will be a note saying the last time that it was updated. If this ever gets cleared, which you don't want to do, but when they're initially blank and then you change it, it will record the date that it was first, so it was March 2nd. Now I had that first look. The way that this would really work the first time is it's blank, you set a date, and then it will copy it there. Um, if you need to add, um, add rows, you can just move this verb down wherever you want, copy uh, and paste the row, and then change this however you want. If you're looking at the equations, the only equations are really in this column N, so you can um, change other cells. There's also the date has one. Um, back that up. And then um, right now I have the start date um, calculating by the minimum date here. The end date I put to see kind of the near term future. But I have a note here saying if you actually want to see everything, you can just replace it. Whoops, I'll have to edit that because I changed columns. You'll have to. Um, Edit, let me just edit this on the fly. You'll have to paste this in equals max. So if I do that, for example, this date is now September 29th because that's all the way down here. And, you know, oftentimes I have projects that are going out many years. So everything would get very collapsed if you didn't allow yourself to um, put in some smaller timeline. The last thing I'd show you is there's a whole bunch of columns to the left that are hidden that can be used or not. If you want a WPS or work breakdown structure, you could code them here. Um, whatever you put here gets auto appended automatically in this column. Um, and then you might want to record the total hours of work that you were planning and then the work that was done. These don't um, currently show anything visually. Maybe in the future I may add that. Um, if you have any questions, or I'll, uh, the last thing is uh, this G1 tab, that is just a subset of the Gantt chart. And the reason I set that up is because the Gantt chart has extra columns. We wanted a clean view. And so what I do is I go here and I do share, publish to web. And then instead of the entire document, I just publish G1 as a web page. And if you do that, you can share this link with anyone and they can look at this live Gantt chart as it's edited anywhere. Um, if you have questions or you kind of want a, more of a walkthrough however you're gonna use this, um, you can feel free to contact me. Uh, my email is sagearbert at gmail.com or I currently work at Duke. You can email either one of those. Uh, hope it's useful, thanks.